And now uh, Abby is going to introduce our guest speaker. Hey guys, I'm Abby, and this morning I have the privilege of introducing the Colwell Center's distinguished guest, Justin Chinyanta, a Zambian citizen now residing in Johannesburg, South Africa. Mr. Chinyanta is the founder, chairman, and chief executive officer of Loita Holdings Corporation. The inspiration upon which this company was built was the sudden growth of the African economy in the early 1990s and a revival of optimism across the continent. Loita Holdings Corporation is the holding company for Loita Capital Partners International, its sister company, Fintech Services, and Loita Transaction Services. Mr. Chinyanta is a specialist and expert in the financial markets of Sub-Saharan Africa with over 20 years of professional experience in commercial and investment banking in the region. Before forming Loita Holdings Corporation, Mr. Chinyanta was the Vice President at Citibank's Africa Regional Office and Vice President at HSBC's Africa Regional Office. He is currently Executive Vice President for the Southern Africa Chapter of the Africa Business Roundtable and is on the expert roster of the United Nations Institute for Training and Research. Mr. Chinyanta is a barrister at law with training from the Law Practice Institute of Zambia, and he earned his bachelor's degree at, in law from the University of Zambia. While visiting Harvard, he will examine the New Economic Partnership for Africa's Development, NAPAD, with a particular focus on the role of African private sector and capital markets in ensuring NAPAD's success. Mr. Chinyanta and his wife, Helen, are the parents of two daughters and a son, Justin Jr., who is with them today. I had the pleasure of having dinner with them last night, and I personally found Mr. Chinyanta to be an extremely knowledgeable and man with an optimistic outlook on the e economic situation of his home country and continent. So without further ado, Mr. Justin Chinyanta. Thank you very much to all of you, and particularly to my uh, friends that call well scholars, um, and to Mr. Glenn uh, Aaron. Uh, I pay particular regard to the people I sat at table with last night, um, the three gentlemen of the Colwell Scholars, Leo, Ben, and uh, John. <laughs> Those are the three, uh, they're the only three, three gentlemen, so um, I, I don't know whether that's the privilege or whether that's uh, the, the albatross they carry around their necks. <laughs> and uh, of course, the charming ladies that sat with me, Abby, uh, my friend Hannah, um, I, I guess uh, Lee, and um, you know em the two Emilys. Um, so I, I, I pay particular regard to you because I was well educated last night sitting around the table um, and just trying to understand uh, St. Johnsbury and some of the aspirations of the scholars uh, from the Cold War scholars. Um, today, I, th I say to myself, what will I talk to the scholars about at St. Johnsbury that could be useful? And uh, from a perspective of um, the fact that A, I'm an African, and B, uh, I'm a banker, I thought um, I would really come at it from the way that we in Africa tend to come at these things. Normally, uh, most African villages uh, tend to have a storytelling culture. And uh, in that storytelling culture, they normally try to pass wisdom through um, you know, small tales. And today's tale, basically, is a tale that I'm going to um, uh, talk about called the tortoise and the hare, um, because it will actually, um, it will actually emphasize um, uh, the theme that I want to bring out, which is really to be slow and steady. Now, um, I think some of you may know that um, you know, normally wisdom uh, is supposed to be the preserve of the elderly, us, uh, the, the, the elder. Um, but of course, in Africa, we always say that um, if a child washes his hands, he can sit down with the elders. And therefore, the wisdom could pass from the child to the elders themselves. Um, so in the story of um, the hare and the tortoise, um, particularly in Africa, the hare is always seen 
to be the fast and the furious. It is always seen to be the smart, the cunning, the, the, the mover of things. And the tortoise is always seen to be the slower, the thinker, the, the, the sort of um, patient builder, if you will. Um, the story of the tortoise and the hare, and you'll pardon me if you've heard it before, um, is that um, there was a time when the tortoise and the hare decided to race each other. Um, as you know, the hare, um, you know, s- similar to any rabbit, is very fast, and the tortoise um, is very slow. Um, they set um, their markers. They set a mark where they would start from, and they set a mark where they would end. And, um, of course, the hare, being the fast and the furious, um, started out very aggressively. And um, in his aggression, um, you know, he was about three quarters of the way there, looked behind him, and saw that the tortoise um, had barely got out of his uh, starting blocks. Um, so from that perspective, the head decided, look, I mean, this is a joke. I mean, why am I racing this guy? Um, he's too slow for me. Um, in terms of uh, looking back, the, 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 the head then decided he would basically take a rest and rest and rest. And as he rested, of course, he fell asleep. And uh, the tortoise, being slow and steady and, you know, um, crawling on, you know, came by, passed him while he was sleeping. And um, hey, presto, when the time came to get to the finishing line, um, guess who was first? Um, The tortoise was first. Um, In terms of um, that little analogy, um, from our perspective, We've always um, tended to say slow is steady. And slow and steady um, tend to be parameters that we should build into our characters um, because they always um, infuse into us uh, certain characteristics, including patience, um, including um, compassion, and including um, you know, endurance. Um, from the perspective of the hair and tortoise story especially, um, we in Africa have tended to always say that it is not where you start that matters because you, you may start off with speed and with aggression, but it is where you end that matters. And I'm sure I don't need to remind some of you that when you look into the financial markets here, um, the story of the hair is probably very much there. Because I'm um, coming from at it from it uh, at it from a banker's perspective, they always say to us that um, the higher the risk, the higher the return. But you know, there were so many people that put money in Mr. Ma- um, uh, is it Mr. Madoff, uh, Mr. Madoff's uh, schemes, and uh, so many people who today um, have obviously um, you know uh, fallen victim to those schemes. So one of the things uh, to always uh, think through as you traverse your lives, uh, St. Johnsbury scholars, is um, this little anecdote of the hare and the tortoise, to be slow, but to be steady. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Shinyata.